I want to record in my rear and my kit. So I've spent a lot of time on the channel so far giving some ideas and some hints and some reflections on my experience as a reenactor. But one thing I haven't done is examined the flaws in my own reenactment clothes in my own work. And for this video I'm going to just examine the stuff that I've made myself. The conjectural nature of some of the things that maybe I just start talking about the new Cirque, let's talk about the original. My original Cirque was a natural linen pleated Cirque inspired by the finds at Burka and Sokov. The pleats didn't set properly, at least to my interpretation of the fragments. The sleeves ended up too short, and I pleated the neck opening to too small of a measurement, but I still stubbornly wore it for well over a year. I mean, could you blame me? I'd spent three months trying to set all of those pleats. I'm not yet emotionally prepared for another three months of pleating a surf, so the new one will be a plain geometric construction one. Due to the way linen decays, we only have very small fragments that were in contact with metals, so we're not certain the pattern used by the Scandinavians, but I'm content with the little fabric used up in making this. And with the fact that I'm sticking to the data, where 31 of the 52 Burka graves containing linen fragments were unpleated, I'm happy. Evidence for the keyhole neckline comes from Burka Grave 60A, 
where two fragments, both with folded edges, were preserved in a small brooch near the throat. Others come from pictorial evidence, like the picture stone Kunestad III. I've made this fairly long, as some think that the keyhole may have been lengthened for East while breastfeeding, and Hilda Thunem actually did this with one of her kids. While I have no need to breastfeed, I'm at an age where I would likely be married, and since clothes like this would need to work for both before and after children, I thought it would be ni a nice touch to demonstrate this. If it proves to be a problem, I can sew up the slit easily, although my peplos covers the area quite well. I just wanted to check and see that everything was laying correctly. experiment with one of the other possible peplos patterns. As for why I wear a peplos instead of a smoker slash hanger rock, let me explain. The hanger rock uh, has loop straps that work very well with the shape of the turtle brooch, but less so on the relatively flat-backed shape of the animal-headed brooches often found in association with Gotland. These brooches developed in the Vendel era, and considering that is what is theorized to have been worn by the Vendel era Scandinavians, with the smoker then developing from that, it makes sense that Gotland may have maintained the peplos in their wardrobes like their Baltic trade partners. This is also much, much easier to sew. All I had to do was sew up one side of my luxuriously wide modern fabric, and since the top and bottom edges were selvage, I let them be. This will be later given some tablet woven trim based on a fine from Gotland, but as it's being wo custom woven in Slovakia, I won't have it in time for this video's upload. Now, in my previous video, you might have remembered that I talked about how to make your garb look less like a costume, and one of those things is just wearing them in mundane life. And so, before I took my final shots, I took this to the Church of Texas. doing three garments in one video would be way too much, especially after spending the entire week hand sewing. I also have some more jewelry to acquire, as my impression, the spouse of a 10th century Gotlandish mailmaker, would actually be fairly wealthy. At least, I need to set up some nice strings of beads. 
but I'm also considering a utility brooch and two dress pins to secure my peplos. Then there's the shoes. These are quite obviously from chrome tanned leather and modern sold, and have become too small at some point, so replacing them with true turn shoes is a must. Really, the list never ends. for the next one where I start my partner's kit. And check me out on Instagram if you'd like to see more pounce and real-time progress on videos. If you like what I'm doing, I do have a coffee link down in the description if you'd like to help me out. Thanks! I'll see you next time.